Now that we have our uh, layout uh, drawn and we have decided which walls we're going to use, and this of course is a prefill option here, so we're having our, um, our units prefilled for us. You're going to hit continue. The system just goes ahead and tells you which walls now you're going to use, two, three, and four. Again, we didn't choose, we chose not to use one and five. I'm going to start the closet design. What happens is the system is now going to fill those three walls with units, and you're going to come to what we call the, the view page. A little modal drops down with some help the first time you come to this page, but you can just close that. Here we see the name of the closet, the current cost of the closet, the overhead layout of the closet, wall 2, wall 3, and wall 4. What I'll show you here is I want to show you how this pencil, if you click on that, you have the option to change the closet name. You can also change the height of the closet. Uh, you can change it to fault shelf height. Now you notice this has changed to 83.937, which is a 32 millimeter height that uh, converted to inches. So uh, most closet companies follow that 32 millimeter measurement. So we have rounded the 84 down to the 83.937. The depth, the baseboard, the shoe can all be changed. The length of the walls can be changed as well. So we have 45, 90, 160, 90, and 45. We can increase the height of the wall length, decrease the height of the, uh, or the length of the wall. If you increase the length of the wall, you will just create some open space and be able to go ahead and uh, put some units on that open space. If you make the wall smaller and there were already units on that wall, we will shrink those units in order to keep them on the wall. And if needed, we will delete a unit uh, if you go too small. From this page, you can also click on to the modified floor plan. This brings us back to the layout page, which we were talking about in the prior video. Again, it gives you the layout and allows you to change your decision here. If you decide you don't want to use wall two, you can just turn it off. And maybe you want to use wall in one instead. So you have the options to play with these buttons to go ahead and re reconfigure your room. If you already have units on wall two and you turn it off, those units are going to be erased. And that wall will no longer be there. You can also, at this point, go ahead and add an island. So if you want to add an island into this, just like before, you can go ahead and place an island. So you don't have to necessarily do everything the first time through the layout tool. You can come back here and modify your layout uh, and change the size of your island or things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that island. And I'll just, let me turn the units off of wall two and put some on wall one, just so you see what that looks like. I'm going to continue. It shows me now we're doing one, three, and four. Update, update the closet and you can see now on this page that we have wall one which has nothing on it, wall three and wall four.